Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Today we're going to make a very elegant starter dish with uh, Japanese firefly squid and one of my favorite which is a 63 degrees egg or onsen egg. So you should have received a box like this with all the ingredients that you need and an instruction card which you can refer to later. Um, but let's see what we so this dish we have the egg. This is called Taiyuran egg. Taiyuran is actually a uh, particular kind of Japanese egg. Uh, it's called Taiyuran, it means sun of the sun, uh, because the egg yolk is so orange and so tasty, it looks like the sun. Um, so that's why it's called Taiyuran. This is uh, sous vide for at 63 degrees uh, for 45 minutes already pre-cooked. So later on, we just I'll show you how to warm it up. Um, then you have firefly squid uh, from Japan. Uh, this is also pre-cooked again, so we just need to actually warm it up later. This is a potato and leek uh, emulsion or foam, which sits at the bottom of the dish. These are homemade uh, pickled uh, beetroot. These are fried potato noodles. So they're cut with a special uh, contraption that you can make into really thin strips and then deep fry into very crispy potato noodles. And then you have uh, herbs that you can garnish the dish with. So let's cook. The first thing we do actually in this dish is to warm up the onsen egg uh, that we've already pre-cooked at 63 degrees for 45 minutes. So what you do is just very carefully crack the egg up and put it into a bowl like that. And then you boil some hot water and you carefully pour it down the side of the bowl until you cover the egg very gently so that you don't break it. You see that loose bit of white? Actually the egg um, at 63 degrees, it has just cooked through the inner white part of the egg white. So, but the entire thing is still runny inside um, and it's the perfect sauce for uh, everything. So we leave it in here for a few minutes while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. So we take the squid, which is already pre-cooked, and we boil some water. And once the water is boiling, then you turn off the heat and you put the package in there to let it warm up a little bit. In the meantime, you take the potato and leek foam. You can add a little bit of water to help the heating up, it'll get reduced back uh, to thicken up, so no worry about it, but don't add too much. Keep stirring it so it doesn't actually get burned at the bottom. That's it. You can turn off and we're ready to plate. For serving, you take the heated up Warm through potato and leek emulsion. And you basically spoon it carefully in the middle of the dish. And this is the base where the egg would sit on so it doesn't slide around the dish. So we built each of the ingredients uh, layer by layer. So second thing we put is we take these uh, crispy potato noodles, we put it on the side surrounding the potato and leek emulsion or foam. And then we take the pickled beetroot and we basically scattered it along the side like that. These beetroots are pickled uh, ourselves and it's done like the traditional way where you sometimes go to Japanese uh, restaurants. You get, they usually pickle the same way, same flavor as they pickle the radish the yellow radish that you get with your chicken teriyaki or your unagi rice. And then you take the squid that you've left in the water. You put that one by one carefully. You don't want the squid, you don't want to squeeze it too hard because these firefly squid is very, very rowy. So it has like a really nice orange roll inside and it's very very flavorful so you did that and you put on the egg so by you want to use a spoon actually quite a large spoon that is bigger than the size of your egg so that you don't actually break it by accident and then very carefully 
scoop out the egg that's been warmed up in the hot water. And then you use a kitchen towel and absorb some of the excess water that's on your spoon. And then very carefully lower it to the middle of the dish. And finally, you just need to put on the herbs. These microgreens are locally grown in Hong Kong uh, with hydroponic technology. So it's very, very clean and it's very flavorful. That's it.